Toastmasters. Hello. 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 Ken, Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Excellent, thanks. And how are you? Fabulous. Fabulous. All right. Have you ever wondered what, where the, uh, where those answers came from? Fabulous. Excellent. If you think about it, a lot of our life is on autopilot. And it didn't occur to me till I was writing the, uh, till one night I was writing the L. It was late at night, I had my earbuds in, head down, didn't want to deal with this, you know, in front of you like, like everybody else. And my phone died. My phone finally died and the music out. So just ner uh, nerve wracked, looked up, made me realize everyone else is in that same daze of, uh, of distraction as well. And then it really dawned on me. You know what's one of the most unfortunate things in life? That there is nothing that in my life that I would be doing that would ever have me meet these people face to face. Like there's nothing that would put our lives together because I'm in this autopilot routine. So tonight, you will learn of these underlying factors of what dictates our decisions in life and what you can do to overcome them. Who here listens to Spotify, Pandora, or listens to one of those shuffling music apps? Many of you, right? Well, if you think about it, the things that make this, these apps so great is it creates a much better music listening experience. Have you, uh, who here has ever discovered an artist they never would have discovered in a million years if it wasn't for their app, Pandora, Spotify? Well, how crazy would it be is if you could apply that same principle to other aspects of your life? If you think about it, Spotify, Pandora, we put the music on shuffle and it makes the decision for us. We just kind of receive the information and we either like it we kind of like swipe right or we swipe uh, swipe left on it, and then we go uh, and then we uh, add it. When we add it to our music repertoire, we will sometimes discover a really good jam. Now, what if we applied this to something as crazy as as simple as what food meal you're going to eat, where you're going to travel next, where you're going to study, where are you going to work next? You didn't uh, think. Take a step back and think about this. You didn't choose where you were born. You didn't choose who your parents were, what time in history you were going to be, uh, you were going to be born, who your parents were, or who, uh, who ended up raising you, what teachers you would have, and who you would end up being your friends. And, if you, and what's crazy is life essentially is dictated by your preferences. What do you prefer? Society is even structured this way. Everything is dictated on like, what do you, uh, all algorithms are structured on what do you like. Amazon's trying to sell you the next thing based on what do you like. Uh, Spotify is giving you music based on what do you like. So, even if you consider yourself a very open-minded person, you are still in a specific frame that causes you to be stuck in your little bubble. This is what I like to call the art of bubble hopping, where how can you escape this forced bubble that you have no control over? Now you may be thinking, well, I'll just travel the world and just, you know, and go see things that I've never seen before. But that's still within your own bubble because you chose the, you're gonna choose the countries. You're inevitably going to be choosing what you're going to see, who you'll interact with. In some, um, uh, you may be going a little bit out of your comfort zone, but you're still making the decisions on, your, on yourself. Think about Spotify and Pandora and these apps, how they completely redesign your experience. So what would happen if you had an app or a decision-making mechanism or just decided to let go altogether and have people make the decision for you? You would, uh, that is the only genuine way to really escape your bubble. For example, when I was backpacking Europe back then in 2014, I decided to, uh, I was on this couch surfing platform, similar to Air, it was pre-Airbnb, uh, and it's essentially the same thing but free, and you, you end up staying with travelers, you know, uh, under spare bedrooms or couches. I ended up staying, uh, I ended up uh, staying with this girl in uh, Lyon, France, named Camille, and I only intended to stay um, in Lyon for about four days. Um, 
inevitably, we never met other than the conversation via online, and we ended up hitting it off, and she invited, uh, invited me after the fourth day to up north to take a train ride to her parents' house, and her parents set up a wine tasting at a special chateau, mm -hmm. and a tour of a, of a really nice mansion in Lyon. And I completely canceled my, friend, uh, my plans to go to Italy a few days before because I, uh, I was able to be flexible enough for this experience. Fast forward, when I finally did go to Italy, I ended up uh, running in, um, I went to Rome with no place to stay because every, uh, everywhere in Rome was booked, but I went to a, 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 a couch surfing meeting, which was a gathering of travelers and hosts, and I ended up meeting someone at, uh, at there who would host me right on the spot and ended up staying in Rome for seven days, and instead of going north to Slovakia, he was about to take a road trip, asked me if I wanted to join to take a smart car on a boat to Albania in Greece. And my whole trip going to countries I never would have imagined planned or going to was now the end of my future. And this is just a small fraction of what happened over the course of three months. But it only would have happened, uh, it only has happened because I let other people make those decisions. Now, you may be thinking, what can I do? You know, take baby steps to do something like this. Well, imagine going to a restaurant and having the waiter choose your meal for you. But don't ask uh, what do you recommend, because then when they tell you, you'll be like, no, 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 I'll go with my original choice, like we all have at some point. But genuinely, don't even hear it. Imagine going to a movie theater, but without the intention of knowing what movie you're gonna see, just tell them to buy the ticket for you, and you're gonna see whatever you're gonna see. These are all subtle ways, uh, subtle things you can do in your day-to-day -day life to kind of break out of that bubble, to see shows, to do things, to meet people, that never would have come into your world otherwise. So, if you're the kind of person who really, who is open-minded enough or realizes that uh, you're trapped in this bubble and you're looking for something new, more variety, some more adventure possibly, or you're, uh, or you're afraid of being, uh, being able to be stuck in that same monotonous routine, just think about uh, think about Spotify and those apps and what you can do if you had the decision made for you. Thank you. Yeah.